my name's John Wilkinson. I'm a technical coordinator for first floor 3D workshops at Central St Martins. I manage a range of workshops. Um, one workshop is called Mod Making, and that is typically the area where we choose back for me. Uh, I deal with a range of courses, uh, mainly design courses, so that would be things like architecture, product design, industrial design. These are considered our core users, but we also engage with students from other areas, including subjects like fashion and textiles, fine art, sculpture, quite a range of different courses. I'm Stuart and I'm a student at Central St Martins and I study fashion design. I've been working with the format machines to create various different bags and accessories. One of the things that I really like about using the machines are well, they're really quick. So it takes 30 seconds to a minute and you've got a form. So you can do lots of different experiments with it. I'm working with um, body parts, so I'll cast my own body parts and then I can go straight to the format machines and form the pieces. Our brief reading is to engage with students and enable them to make models. Uh, we quite regularly use Formec back formers. What we tend to do is we tend to use them in, in what I'd say is a kind of non-traditional way. And um, what we do is we use them for model making. And so a good example of that would be this desk lamp. Um, the base component has been um, produced using a back form as has the lampshade. Um, the original of these would be a wooden plug typically. It would be produced using jelly tong. That would have been turned on wood lathe and then that would then go on to be um, vacuum formed. This is another example. So this would be um, an architectural model and this section here has been um, produced using back forms. Back forming in, in the context that we use it in is one of many tools and the advantages of it really are that, are that it's fast and that you can do large objects with a hollow section effectively. Um, another way that we might use them in a non-traditional way is for the fast production of mould. Hi, my name is Massimo. Uh, I'm a designer and technician here at Central St. Martin and um, I found myself recently working with uh, ceramics and uh, plaster. At this initial stage of the project, I found uh, the vacuum forming process really useful because it allows me to generate uh, molds really quickly and really in detail. So all I had to do is to create a sort of rough master and out of which I vacuum formed the molds for me to be able to cast it afterwards. Another good thing we find about the Formec vacuum forms that we use is that they're fairly relatively easy to use and I guess more importantly in the education environment, relatively safe. Uh, what we tend to do is we tend to uh, give students an overall induction and then the technicians that work in that area might give them a more specific uh, induction into the use of that machine. And then as long as there's a technician present, the students can just get on with the work to their heart's content.